What difference does Brexit make? Well, we now have a trade and cooperation agreement between the UK and the European Union. In some limited respects, nothing changes. When the UK exports its goods to the European Union, as before, there will be no tariffs or taxes or quotas on those exports. But the big change comes from the fact that the UK will no longer be a member of Europe's customs union or single European market. And that means that in principle, the UK will be able to set its own trade policy. But when we trade with the European Union, when we export, our goods will have to follow EU product standards and regulations. It will mean more checks at the borders, more red tape. To economists, the Brexit outcome is a basic free trade agreement with bits added. We used to talk about a hard Brexit or a soft Brexit. Most would see this as a pretty hard Brexit, and that's shown by the fact that most Brexit politicians supported the outcome. For the UK, it means that working, living, traveling in Europe will now be very different. Some see the deal as having unfinished business. For example, the deal said nothing really about the services sector, but it's the services sector that contributes some 80% to the UK economy. So some expect the European Union to make a decision, particularly relevant to financial services and the City of London, as to whether the UK's rules after Brexit continue to be the equivalent of the European Union's. Again, the European Union will be setting the terms of trade, as it were. Another item still to be determined is whether after Brexit, the UK can achieve its global Britain objective. Brexit was destined to establish stronger relations between the UK and countries in different parts of the world, especially the economies of Asia and the Pacific. Can the UK establish a new trade deal with President Biden and the United States. When can it establish that deal? Similarly with Asia and Pacific countries. So can the new trade deals, when they come on stream, compensate for any loss of trade between the UK and the European Union? The jury is still out. And perhaps the jury is still out on the questions of whether we have taken back control or not. Brexit means that we have freedom to choose. Does it mean that we have more choice? Over to you.